Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. What we're going to do in this short video for winter 2020, spring 2021, um, also encompassing Christmas, is what we're going to do is look at the best budget GPS unit currently on the market. So really, I've brought in six units to kind of put into this category. I think one or two may slip out of it, but we'll kind of overview of where we are. So really, button GPS unit, eTrex 22X and 32X. Touch screen unit, touch 25, touch 35, and then a slightly larger screen and also a button GPS unit, 64SX and the new 65S. We'll question whether the 65S needs to be in this category because I think it is really at the top end of the price bracket, but it's worth considering when we're thinking about a budget GPS unit. Traditionally, I've always said the best budget GPS unit, best touch screen is the touch 25 and best button is 32. But I'm also going to bring in the 64SX into this equation. I think first of all we need to get rid of the 22X. 22X is Garmin's cheapest colour screen GPS unit. doesn't have an electronic compass in it, so therefore it's not great at small movements. And I'm not really a big fan of GPS units that don't have an electronic compass in it, because potentially you can get yourself into problems when you're out on the hill. So I'm going to take that one out of the equation. The Touch 35 it's quite interesting really because a budget GPS unit from Garmin um, tends not to have electronic compassing but the Touch 25 does. So the Touch 35, the only benefit is it has a barometric altimeter which is not life changing and also um, it has connectivity to a mobile phone so you can do live tracking and this kind of thing. Again, not a big selling factor and a little bit more expensive than the Touch 25. So for that reason, I'm going to take the Touch 35 out of the equation. 65S is the one I said, should it really be in this category? It's really right at the top end of the bracket. You're buying this with one to 50,000 mapping, which is really what we should be thinking about when we're buying an outdoor GPS unit. It is coming in at 450 pounds. So it's not really a budget GPS unit. If I was spending 450 pounds on a GPS unit, I'd be looking at our other video, which is the best top end GPS unit, and I would be getting a 66S or something along those lines. Far larger screen than what we've seen on the 64, and it's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a better GPS unit. So again, I'm gonna take it out of the equation because really, if I'm spending that amount of money on a GPS unit, I would tend to go more to the 66 range. A couple of words about the new 65S. It's really the same as the 64SX, but it's got topoactive mapping, which is a European mapping. Also works next to an Explore app, so you don't have to plug it into the computer. You can wirelessly transfer GPX files onto it. And it's a multi-band GPS unit. The spec is far higher than any of these other GPS units. It uses both the American, um, the Russian, the European, the Japanese and the Indian satellites and it's multi-band as well. It is a high spec GPS unit but really I would tend to, if you're spending that amount of money on a GPS unit, I would tend to push you more towards the 66S. So we're left with these three GPS units, 64SX, Touch 25 and eTrex 32X. Can I just kind of, where we are when we talk about budget GPS units? These GPS units, without any ordnance survey mapping, are kind of coming in just over £200, £220 to £300. So we're kind of in that two to £300 bracket. Again, if we add ordnance survey mapping, it's got a little bit more of that. So, top end is that coming in £300 without mapping. It's the 64SX. Really nice GPS unit. Big, clear screen buttons. Benefits of buttons that we can use them in winter with our gloves on and therefore a really smart GPS unit. It uses Galileo, so it's been out for not been out for that long, which is the European satellite's increased accuracy. That also 32X as well. I must say that also uses the European satellites as well as the American and the Russian uh, satellites. Really nice proven brand. Um, nice size, again, nice size in your hand. It's a proven GPS unit and is a, a great GPS unit. Um, but then down at the, 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 the lower end, eTrex 32, you know, again, I've always said this is the best uh, button GPS unit on the market. Again, with it being a slightly smaller screen, improved battery life on it. Again, nice and compact if you just want a GPS as a backup. eTrex does 25 is a great multi-activity GPS unit, so if you are cycling as well as walking, really nice there, because we've got these very clever products. So it's multi-activity, you know, you got hike, 
bike, tour cycling, etc. So you choose what activity what you, what you want to do and your GPS will act slightly differently in each of those. So if you want a GPS unit that you're gonna cycle with as well as walk with, that also looks quite smart on your push bike as well when you're out and about. So really, which is the best um, best uh, GPS unit currently on the on the best budget GPS unit currently on the market? I'm going to say it is either the. Um, so I'm just going back to my height profile here. Sorry. Uh, there you are, back to my height profile. I jump into the map page. Best budget GPS unit is of course the most expensive one, the 64SX. Um, but if you want a touchscreen unit or a multi-activity user, I always use the eTrex Touch 25. I wouldn't throw away the 32X. I say if you want a unit just as a backup rather than as a navigational device, something nice and tidy to keep in your pocket, great battery life, 32X. And that's really my uh, assumption of the best um, budget GPS unit. Other things you need to consider now you've chosen which GPS unit you want, is what mapping. These come with what's called topoactive built-in, topoactive mapping built-in on the eTrex 32X and 25, which is European mapping. As you may see on the camera, it's quite basic mapping. It's a nice digital map, so as you zoom in, you get more information. As you zoom out, you get less information. But the problem is it doesn't show you if something's a footpath or a bridleway. It just shows everything as a path. Therefore, not great when we're walking. Really, we need to consider about putting ordnance survey mapping in any of these GPS units. I put an ordnance survey map card in this um, 64SX and this is what we would be kind of recommending putting some ordnance survey maps on there. I know that's just a one to 50,000 ordnance survey mapping but really in that pr this price bracket that's what most people are putting in these GPS units. So if you can afford it you buy a bundle with a uh, 1 to 50,000 map card. That's a Topo Great Britain Pro, which is Garmin's current uh, top end um, map card. Topo Prime Pro means it has routable data within national parks. The other option is if you just walk in a few areas, you can buy all these units with a bird's eye voucher. Bird's eye voucher enables you to download 25,000 square kilometers of 1 to 25,000 mapping. So, a nice option is if you've got your Topo Active mapping for the whole of the country, and then you've got the areas that you walk in 25,000 square kilometers is the size of Wales and the lake tissue put together and you have one year to download that mapping so you can choose the lakes, the Yorkshire Dales, the peaks or whatever you want to do, download those onto the GPS unit and therefore with these you'll have topoactive mapping for the whole country and then your 1 to 25,000 mapping. One thing to mention with the 64SX is this doesn't come with any topoactive mapping. It's the most expensive GPS unit, but it doesn't come with topoactive mapping. So what we do here at GPS Training is we preload it with um, what's called open source mapping, which is really where the uh, topoactive mapping. So we put some open source mapping on there. Um, so again, if you buy the unit without any ordnance survey, you've got very similar mapping for the G uh, for UK and Ireland uh, for that unit. Other key things to think of is when you're getting your GPS unit is we set them up before they leave us so they'll work straight out of the box. You get this quick start guide from ourselves here at GPS Train. So a quick start guide, this is for the Touch 25, 35 quick start guide, how to get all set up, all the different profiles we talked about, takes you through the basic usage of how to use this GPS unit and how to get the get going with it. You also get access to our online resource, our online training platform, which has step-by-step -step videos of how to use each of those GPS units. Other thing you get is a quick start guide on how to use Garmin Basecamp. As you hopefully know, Garmin Basecamp is a route planning software by Garmin and the step-by-step, -step, this is a Mac one, we also do PC instructions as well. So that gets you going with that. Don't forget you also get telephone and email support for that first year as well. Get in touch with ourselves here at GPS Training. I very much hope this video has been useful. So really to classify, if you have the budget, best budget GPS unit, 64SX, I say that is coming in at just under £400 with um, one's 50000 or it is, 400, uh, it is coming in at £300,000, sorry, £300 with the, uh, or just under £300, two nine 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 with the uh, topo uh, with the the mapping that we put on there the basic mapping touch 25 
Again, that's kind of coming in uh, mid range there. Again, um, 3339 with uh, 1 to 25, uh, with, with 1 to 50,000 mapping. And again, um, coming in uh, usually 100 pound cheaper without the uh, ordnance survey mapping. And then the touch, the, uh, the, the 32X 329 with 1 to 50,000 mapping. Um, and it's coming in with just 220 uh, without any ordnance survey mapping. So again, it all depends on your budget. So these are the best budget GPS units. Give us a call here at GPS Training and I hope this video has been useful.